Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do the weekly review for the DR, IDR using ICT concepts. This review is for July 31st through August 4th. So I'm going to throw out my rules here so you know what's going on. I added, customized, I keep customizing my rules so every video may be a little different as I keep back testing and tweaking them. And I'll explain the rules here. The current rules, I do not trade high impact news days like NFP, CPI, or FOMC, okay? We're not going to trade those days. We'll look at them, what happened, but we're not going to trade this during that to those times. We're not going to do it. Only take trades between 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. DR direction confirmed by 12.30 p.m. Now, why is that? Because I've noticed through backtesting that if it doesn't confirm before 12.30 p.m., I have a lower probability of me getting my setup that I want before 1.30. And if I do, it's usually not, uh, it's well into the day before I actually get, you know, my, my target TP. So for me, I want it to clip to be confirmed before 12.30. That goes from 10, to, that gives it two hours to, to hit the DR line to close below. Okay. That's just me because I'm trading, like I said, I'm trading between 11 a.m. and 1.30. Okay, so I got to have some rules on when I need things to happen by, or I'm just going to skip it. ICT PD arrays, look for those, fair value gap, open order block, breaker blocks, things like that. Entry risk one to two, minimum of five plus handles. I'll take partials at 60% and move my stop loss to break even plus two ticks. Very important, especially when you're trading the five minute chart, because we're trading the five minute chart, not going down into lower time frames. I'm trading the five minute chart. For DR. If no partials by 130, we're closing the trade. So Monday, July 31st, what time did the candle close below a DR line? One o'clock. No trade day. Okay. Do not trade that day because that didn't pass our rules. Here's Tuesday. Again, between 11 a.m. and 1.30. Waiting for a candle close, not just a wick. Candle closed below a DR line. It didn't. It stayed in this range. No trade day. Okay. Look at this big gap. Amazing. Next day, we have Wednesday. Same rules between 11 and 1.30. What time did, did it break through? Right here, it broke through at 10.40. So, it already broke through when I started my, one, my 11 o'clock time. We came up, we saw that there is a 15 minute fair value gap, which is the orange one. We have a five minute fair value gap right there, a five minute fair value gap right there, and another 15 minute fair value gap right there. So for me, when I have two fair value gaps, I usually want to enter on the, the higher one or the one that's in further. So got in there. This is a one to three RR trade. It's 15 points where we target just this new week opening gap right here. Okay. We did move our, we'd move our partials up and then we'd target the new week opening gap. Price came up. This is again after our trade. I did, I do do a whole video on this during the day, during, you'll see that. So don't want to go over it too much, but it came back up through. If you didn't want to trade the silver bullet hour, you could have taken another trade because it was respecting these, these fair value gaps again still. It is after our hours. So I would have taken this trade during this time and not taken this. But I'm showing this because if you didn't want to trade the silver bullet hour, you had an opportunity to trade it again for another 15 handles. Okay. So good trade setup that day. We would have got 15 handles on this day, on Wednesday. We wouldn't have taken that trade, but I'm showing it anyway. So 15 handles on the positive. And on Thursday, our same rules apply. We want a candle close before 12.30. It's closed at 11.15, so that candle, so that's great. We looked at our fair, fair value gap. We have a five-minute fair value gap right there. It wicks in, wicks in, wicks in. We got in, right? Max is five handles. I, I know I would normally put my stop below, one tick below, but on this, I do max of five handles. That's just my rules. I can't go above it, so that, that is what it is. Price came up. We would have taken a partial after we breached this high somewhere in here. Taking a partial, move our stop up. Again, we aim for the next new week opening gap, which is right here. 
This just ends up being 15 handles, one to three. So we just kind of trail it up and go from there. That worked out good. So that's another 15 handles. So now we're 30 points or handles up for the week. And then Friday comes and it is a no trade day because it's NFP, right? Now let's see, does this work out? Yeah, it actually does work out. I mean, you could have taken a trade. It closed at 12.20, so you do get a candle closure there. So that means it is technically in our on our radar here. We leave a five-minute fair value gap right here. Let's put that in here. Five-minute fair value gap right here. Put this on here. Right here. Five-minute fair value gap. You could have taken a trade when you got in it right here. Right there. Let's do five to five. I forgot to do this. Five points. And if you were targeting the new week opening gap, you wouldn't have done it. You would have taken a partial at five handles and probably would have broke even. So you could have you made money, yes. You'd have to be you'd have to, you know, after five handles, move your stop up. I may change that to my rules, but either way, we wouldn't have traded this day anyway because NFP, but you could have, if you went for five handles, you got five handles right there, but we're usually targeting much higher target. We would have targeted, I would have targeted, if this wasn't NFP, I would have targeted that right there. I would have taken a partial here and I would have stopped out and I would have been stopped out at break even. So I would have got a partial on break even. That's how I would have traded this, this day, but because it's NFP, we don't trade it anyway. And then look, this is what happened in the, after that. So this is a DR not confirmed day, but it's a day with NFP. So we don't trade DR anyway. So that is your weekly review for DR IDR using ICT concepts. We're plus 30 R for the week, uh, trading our rules just during the 11 AM to 1 30 PM five minute chart. No lower chart than that. And just based on ICT concepts and DR confirmation and um, taking our partials and, and our higher targets.